second story uh, comes from our friends uh, in, in Carbondale. Uh, I had a friend in Carbondale uh, who's part of Carbondale Springs send this to me. Um, and, you know, they're involved in a lot of activists, uh, activist movements and protests and things of that sort. Uh, real grassroots stuff. And, uh, um, you know, all this stuff happened. Uh, let me look at the date of this article real quick. Uh, end of June, June 30th is when this happened, when this story was released, right? Uh, and I was trying to get them on the podcast last week, uh, and all this stuff was going on, uh, what, what, what we're just about to get into. And, uh, you know, at that point, I was just like, yo, you need to take some time to just be you. Like, take time to get that, get your head right, you know, relax, like, veg out, watch some shit. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, but they sent me this article, and when I read it, I was like, this is something I feel like I need to talk about. Um, so basically, what happened in in Carbondale is that uh, they're claiming police stations were vandalized, ooh, because people put, you know, signs about defunding the police and uh, things of that sort. So let's, uh, let me see if this will pop up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so you can see, like, they posted, like, defund the police, defund CPD, uh, they were, there was an American flag that was burned, but it was nonviolent. Um, you know, people were sharing stories and there was, and this is how kind of funny is like, there's just one cop cleaning everything up. Uh, and, and then they arrested this woman. Um, so during the protest, basically what happened is I apologize if I, uh, don't pronounce her name properly, but a trans woman by the name of Kat Brufak. Brufo. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that last name properly. Uh, but she was arrested for spraying graffiti at the protest, at a defund the police protest, right? She was spraying graffiti uh, and, uh, and, and she got arrested. The cops showed up and they were like, oh, you're, this is criminal vandalism, blah, 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 blah. And they arrested her. And then three protesters approached the cops and then the cops turned around and pepper sprayed them. All they wanted to know is why she was being arrested. Then the police reports call her by the wrong name because she's a trans woman. They called her by Thomas, which is essentially, I believe, called dead naming. Like they, they, and cor please do correct me if, if I'm not using that terminology uh, correctly or, or in, in, in the most appropriate way, but they used the wrong name. They didn't put Kat down, they put Thomas down. And which is like kind of, which is super disrespectful, especially if you know that that person is a trans person, which I assume you do when you arrested them. And, you know, there is a better way to kind of show respect to the trans community. There really is. You could say, you could, you could have come out and said something like, hey, you know, this is a, this is a trans person. They go by cat, but on the records, currently on the records, their name is Thomas. Right. And, and I, I don't want to keep trying to pronounce the last name and, and fuck it up because I probably will. And people have fucked up my name a bunch and I don't want to do that to this person. So, um, you know, you could have gone about doing that in a, in, a, in a very cordial and respectful way, but you didn't. Not only that, you pepper sprayed a bunch of people that were just trying to figure out what happened. So then that escalated things. And they got angry and they started like throwing shit at the cop car to fucking get this trans person out. And all this trans person was doing, by the way, was graffiti. And it's called criminal vandalism. Why is this a fucking law? Criminal vandalism is something that needs to have somebody put in handcuffs and taken to jail. Killer cops are still on the loose. Like, we have basically gotten to the point in our society where, where some kind of art, and I do believe graffiti is art, even if it's, you know, just kind of spray. It, it's, it might be a little lower level art, but it's still art uh, by all, all intents and purposes, is considered more of a jailable offense than killer cops, than cops murdering civilians. That's where we're at in our society right now. Do you understand why people like are out in the streets protesting for things to change? That's such a crazy fucking thing to me. 
why is graffiti a bigger threat than these murdering cops or the military industrial complex that is that has created genocides for the sake of profit but graffiti is the thing writing defund the police or fuck the cpd or what have you is far more and i remember having a conversation about this with somebody uh years ago i um I was in a car with somebody very conservative, right? Uh, He was another comic. I'm not going to say his name, but super conservative comic. And I spent four days in the car with this dude. Uh, But by the second day, I was just like, this guy's trying to goat me into having an argument with him because he, I think he thrived on arguments. But one of the things he mentioned, we were passing some rock faces in Wisconsin. There's some graffiti on it, right? Some of the some of the graffiti was message oriented. Some of the graffiti was just like signs, right? Signatures of people, as as sometimes graffiti does. And uh, and I was like, yeah, man, that's really cool. And he was like, oh, you think that's cool? And I was like, yeah, I think that's rad. And he goes, really? You don't think that's damaging the building? And I was like, man, if somebody is really that upset about it, then I don't know. We make them paint the building. You know, but like it's art to me. And he was like, oh, you think it's art? You think it's art and not destruction? And I was like, no, it's not destruction. Like, what are you talking about? And he was like, you know, I think that's destruction. You've destroyed that building. Nobody asked you to put that graffiti up. Nobody asked you to put that art up. Nobody asked for that message on their on their property. And and if you if you do something like that, I think if you get caught graffitiing, I think you need to have a bullet put between your eyes. That's what this fucking dude said to me. And I just kind of was like, okay, psycho. Uh, That's crazy. But that's what people think. Like, they think graffiti is such a over-the-top crime that they believe that these people need to be harmed and they need, they and, and, you know, taught a lesson or what like whatever it's it's fucking bananas to me man like graffiti should not be an arrestable offense graffiti is like one of those offenses where let's say you graffiti a building and that owner goes you know i really didn't want this here and uh they look at it and they go well it's billy down the street and billy comes up and he goes yeah you know i was feeling inspired i saw this building it create you know i did this thing and they go well you know uh, Mr. Jenkins, whatever, it doesn't fucking want this on his building. Instead of, like, sending Billy to jail, putting some sort of bail on them, pepper spraying Billy's friends, why not just have Billy paint the fucking building? He got to do his art. Jenkins didn't want the art. And now it's like, all right, I'll spend the next Saturday afternoon fucking painting the thing. And maybe by that time, right, like maybe by that time, the community comes together and it's like, Mr. Jenkins, this is actually a pretty fucking cool ass piece of art and it makes people want to come to your business more. And then maybe Jenkins has a change of heart, da, 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 like but putting somebody in jail. Like, I think I just wrote a movie, you guys. I think I just wrote like a pretty, pretty awesome, uh, like this is what Lifetime movie should be about. Uh, not about fucking, how are we going to save Christmas is, fuck that, Christmas will be fine. It's the most materialistic holiday uh, on record. Anyway, uh, I think this graffiti movie, uh, you know, if Hallmark wants to come talk to me about it, uh, throw a number down and, uh, and, uh, and we'll figure it out. We'll try to finance this graffiti movie. Uh, Billy and the Jenkins. Billy and the Jenkins, we'll call it. Uh, work and title. It's a work and title, guys. I just came up with this idea like 10 seconds ago. Give me, give me a little bit of a break, okay? But... <laughs> But this is not, I mean, this is the thing is like, we have these fucking laws in place that are just over the top and ridiculous and don't make any goddamn sense. And this is one of them. This, this person, cat should not be in prison for graffitiing them. Should they, they should not have gotten arrested for this. Those other protesters did not need to get pepper sprayed for this. The funniest image of all of that, to me, is the lone cop, like, peeling down to fund the police. Who knows? Maybe that cop, like, gets it now. Maybe as he was taking all those 
all those things down, you know, he gets it. And he's just like, oh, man, like, I, like, I'm the asshole in this situation. I've been the one that's not been serving my community properly. What is going on, Ruby? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure that you hit that like button, hit that share button, and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and are, uh, hit that bell notification icon to, to make sure you get notified. Whenever I put out a new video, I put out anywhere between three to like six videos a week, um, and I'm putting out content pretty regularly uh, from uh, deep dives on history and sociology philosophy and and things of that sort which is forkful of noodles the more ranty videos like this one called road reflections and more news oriented ones uh called uh the dispatch i'm also going to be putting up uh some uh choice segments from uh in my interviews from taboo table talk as well so there's going to be a ton of stuff coming out on this channel that i think you guys would be very interested in and would enjoy very much especially if you like this video that you just watched uh, so make sure you hit the like, make sure you hit the share, make sure you subscribe. You can follow me on all of the social medias at Krish Mohan Ha Ha. Uh, and uh, if you want to come uh, see me perform live uh, in a virtual setting, in a virtual theater, uh, so to speak, I've got some uh, I've got some live stand up comedy shows that I'm doing every single week, every single Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, they're called the Citizen Revolution. Uh, and the Citizen Revolution, each week I take on a brand new topic, a brand new subject, uh, and, uh, and we do a deep dive on that. We also talk about some current event stuff. We also t make fun of some people's tweets. Uh, we, we, we look at some older videos and do breakdowns of, of, of media segments as well. So we do a bunch of stuff on this show. Uh, they're usually 90 minutes. We do a discussion at the end. It's super, super fun. Tickets are available right now. You can get them in the description of this video. Uh, and half of the ticket sales go to helping a, a new grassroots organization every single week. A grassroots organization, journalist, uh, uh, activist group, and so on and so forth. So once again, uh, that is all available. And you can become a sustaining member. And sustaining members get free tickets to those shows. So all of that stuff is available on my website. That's krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A dot com. Uh, I hope you guys can make it to one of these. I hope you guys consider donating. I hope you guys consider becoming a sustaining member if you have the capacity to do so. Uh, but all of my stuff is free and available for everybody to enjoy. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, and there is more to come. But till then, we'll see you on the road.